Good morning. Today is September 1st, 2022. And I have a nice game for you. This is interesting. This is not the best game. In fact, it's lots of blunders. So I'm going to give you three positions and see if you can improve it. So let's begin with the... And I'm going to give you 15 seconds to, to basically solve this position. And then if you need more time, you can just pause it and we'll go from there. Here's the first position. The black has just moved his bishop to b4. What will you do? Alright, next position. King has just moved to the corner. It's eight. What will you do? All right, next position. The king again has just moved to the uh, corner position, what will you do? All right, so let's get a move on. Let's get the game started right now. Now, uh, I mentioned earlier, but I like games that aren't perfect because this it's the most interesting position. So let's go. And that bishop capture that that's not ideal. Basically, what is giving up advantages for attacking? And you can see black has gained initiative from here, from here. So now what has to defend? Uh, well, this one is not bad. Uh, attack here. So, what has to defend? So, what has lost initiative right here? Let's keep moving. Again, black is attacking. Uh, this is like uh, what giving up advantages right from the start. And notice that the queen is open, uh, so I could have taken the queen first and then take this one. But it's just a little uh, tactics. And now black is attacking yet again. And this is the first puzzle. So the queen can, is basically being attacked. Uh, by the rook and by the bishop. So, what will I do? I decide to do this. And this is the right move. So, that's a good move. So, I made that call correctly. And this is not part of the puzzle, but this is actually a mistake. You can see the knight move to d4, but a better move. And this is verified by computer is to go here to f4 so you can attack this one and you can move here and attack this one over here and of course queen can go here and if black king castles then the queen that was here can do this so so this so that move here is a very strong attack and basically gain initiative for white. I didn't do that. I move here. So, next move. And that's a mistake because that's a rook and this is a knight uh, with a pawn and there's really nothing uh, black can do to compensate that. So, that's a mistake.
and trading the queen. When you're behind material, you shouldn't be trading material like that. And notice over here, very strong diagonal, very strong diagonal. The queen here is going to have to protect this pawn over here, no matter what. Uh, unless the rook wants to move here, but then there's bishop over here. So this is a rather complicated, uh, you know, tactical situation. Next move. Just keep maneuvering and I'm attacking and the idea is for me to take over here or maybe take over context over here and prevent black from castling because if the pawn does take this one the queen can go here and check that and well that's mid right because King cannot go here, King cannot go here, and that's me. So that's a long shot, but yeah, it's something worthwhile to do. And Black has castled, and at this one over here, check. And Black King has moved to the corner, H8. This is the answer to the second puzzle. This is what I did. I should not have done that. I should have done here. And this is the combination over here. You can tell different combination over here. That's check. And you can see black is pretty much not out because of that pawn over here. So black has to defend against this thing over here. And you cannot defend over here. You you defend over there, that's me. So this combination will fail. How about this one combination over here? This one. The black has defended the, the pawn over there. But you just take it over here. If pawn takes rook, bishop takes pawn and mate. So cannot do that. So let's see. I think it's check. And that's preventing, basically preventing more checks because the queen can no longer check. So it, this is delaying move basically. And so the queen doesn't have to go over here and forget about that score over there. So this is a delaying move. And then of course the bishop covers these squares and this one. Next move, and just check the play because uh, the king cannot move, so there's only one. Move. And if the pawn takes the queen, the rook takes the pawn and mate, because remember, bishop is going that way. So, next move, bishop takes bishop blocks check, the only way move possible, and there you go. That's a very interesting move over there because uh, you basically just open up the king wrap over here, right? So there's nothing over there, nothing over there, nothing over there. So the king is very wide open. The last defender has left the king and yet it's deadly. Rook takes rook, pawn promotes jack, rook takes what rook takes rook mate right there so extremely deadly and if black does anything else such as rook over here just take it mate also the only thing to worry about now and once the rook is moved you have to take this one so really there's only one reasonable way to do it right here. Over here, queen move over here. So as long as this one is blocked, that's fine. And if, and there's actually several different ways to do it. The move that I do is here, but you can basically just do it anywhere 
as long as you uh, block the queen over there, like maybe over here, and and if the queen goes here, uh, just take it and it's still threatening the pawn over there. So pretty much just anywhere. Like So at this point, black is lost. So, so this is the correct move. Queen g6. I did not do that. I did this one right here. So, hey, <laughs> what do you know? You got a nice pleasing structure, symmetry, uh, you know, diagonal queen with bishop, with pawn and king at the, on the board. So this is a very interesting position, but this is not winning for white this is at best equal so well maybe slightly at slight advantage because yeah white versus bishop so slight advantage white but it's not a clear winning for white like queen g6 all right next move and just take it right there And that's back. That's a, a waiting move, basically. You know, uh, could have done something else. Now this is very interesting right here. Check has to go back to the corner. And this is the third puzzle game over here. I have just taken this one over here. Now I did some computer analysis before and it turns out taking this pawn over here is absolutely winning for white. So you know had I taken that pawn I have great chances for winning. Like uh, it's rather complicated though so it's not something I'm comfortable with doing but if you're a better player than me certainly just take that pawn over there. Yeah, and then and then take this pawn. So that's a combination to look for. Next move. That's my trick. Yeah, that's my idea of tricking uh, black, which is to say, trade until I have a white bishop advantage. Boom, boom, boom. Oh look, I got a free pawn. And again, this is not. <laughs> a uh, good idea other than forcing trading mm -hmm. and at this point in time I have a objective position that I'm winning put everything into the dark square force material and I made a mistake that's a mistake right there I could have you know, done just about anything else. I could have moved the king to dark square over here. I could have moved the rook uh, over here, a certain bishop somewhere. I could have done any of this. Didn't do that. I move it here. And of course, you can see bishop can just skewer the, um, well, pin, pin the rook over there. So that's what he did. Boom. Only one move to go, and suddenly it becomes a uh, three points versus two points ending. Now I'm still winning over here, but <laughs> I could have won much easier. And here now, I have two choices. I can move the king here and secure this uh, square, or I can move the pawn here and secure the square. It doesn't matter really, but I won't be moving this pawn over here. Computer says it's okay, but I won't be moving that that pawn over there because I will secure the square. And yep, move that secure board square. And then I move it. Once I do this, like, that's it. Black is lost. Next move. And black decides to just take all the pawns over here because this is a long way to go that's close now I can actually 
just push the pawn over here king cannot move here king can move check here and well pawn takes pawn pawn takes pawn and then this is smooth sailing i could have done that this is a way to isolate the king from the pawn so that pawn is touched it doesn't pawn will not survive And again, this is controlling the uh, column next to the pawn. And that's a mistake right there because suddenly makes my job really easy. King move here. Actually, let's just move. King move here. King move here. And what do you know? Pawn move here. Mid. Uh, King move there, mate. King move there, mate. That's it. So that's it. Thank. You. Uh, that's the game for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.